Soldering is a valuable skill. There are a lot of situations where the ability to modify and repair electronics can really save the day. But what do you do if you don't have a soldering iron with you? Don't worry, a pocket lighter and some wire will work just fine. Today I'm going to show you how to solder using random everyday objects that you might find lying around. Now in this project we're going to be working closely with open flame, so take all the appropriate safety precautions and proceed at your own risk. The first thing that we need is a heat source. Just about any kind of fire can work for this. You can use something as small as a candle or as big as a wood-burning fireplace. Once you have your fire set up, you're ready to start soldering. The simplest kind of soldering is just connecting two wires together. This can be done by heating the wires directly and doesn't require any kind of a soldering iron. Take two wires and strip the insulation off the ends. Then twist the wires tightly together. Put the ends of the wires over your flame and allow them to heat up for 10 to 20 seconds. Then, apply solder to the opposite side of the exposed wire. You don't want to solder the section of wire over the flame because chemical residues can build up in this area that make it difficult for the solder to properly adhere. When you're done, cut off the unsoldered portion of wire. Your wire should be firmly connected. Now if you want to solder on a circuit board, you're going to need some kind of tool to use as a soldering iron. I recommend using something made of steel because it holds onto the heat a lot better than copper or aluminum. When working with smaller flames, such as candles and lighters, you want to use smaller pieces of metal so that they'll heat up faster. My favorite thing to use is 14 gauge steel wire. To make it easier to work with, I folded the end of the wire over and bent it into an L shape. To heat it up, just hold the corner over the flame for about 20 seconds. Then quickly move it to the circuit board that you want to solder. You should have enough heat to solder one or two connections. Then move the tool back over the flame to reheat it. Repeat this process until you're done soldering. If you're working with larger fires, there's a few things that you need to do differently. First, you need to be able to safely move the soldering tool in and out of the flame. So, either use a much longer soldering tool, or attach it to the end of a non-combustible rod such as a piece of rebar. You'll also want to wear fire-resistant gloves. The heat of larger fires is much more difficult to precisely control, so it helps if your soldering tool is thicker to help catch the heat better. If you're using something like thin wire, you'll want to fold the end over several times. Other than that, the procedure is basically the same. Heat your soldering tool in the fire, then carefully use it to solder on your circuit board. Now you know how to solder in just about any situation. This can really come in handy in an emergency. So start including a small amount of solder in your emergency kits and survival packs. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.